everybody, Anna here from O'Reilly Auto Parts to talk to you about possible reasons your vehicle's air conditioner isn't working properly. But before I get into that, take a second to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Your vehicle's AC has several components, and they all need to be functioning together properly in order to supply cool air to the cabin. If a component fails, you can experience symptoms like air that isn't cold, weak, inconsistent airflow, no airflow at all, or bad smells coming from the vents inside your vehicle. Today, I'll talk about how to check on possible causes for some of these symptoms. The most common indication your AC isn't working the way it should is that the air from your vents isn't cold when you turn the AC on. If you have airflow, but the air isn't cold, there are a few possibilities. The first possibility is that your compressor isn't activating. This is easy to test, since you can see and hear the AC clutch engage to turn the compressor on and off. But if your AC compressor is running constantly, this could be a sign that something in the AC system isn't working. Another possibility is that you're low on refrigerant, which can mean you have a leak. You have a few options when it comes to determining whether or not this is the case. An AC leak detector has the ability to detect escaping refrigerant vapors. Refrigerant with UV dye is available, which can be used with the black light to locate leaks. A spray bottle filled with soapy water can be used as well. Since your refrigerant would be leaking as a gas, the soap would bubble up where the leak is occurring. You could also have a clog in the system, either in the condenser, evaporator, or the expansion device. In that case, it may be necessary to perform some diagnostic testing using a set of AC gauges. But if the AC condenser seems to be overheating or smells like it's burning, the AC expansion valve is cold, but the evaporator isn't, or if you notice the AC line going from the evaporator to the compressor is warm, it's possible the hoses or components could be clogged. A lack of airflow may not be as much of a problem with the air conditioning as it is with the climate control system in general. A failing blower motor may prevent any air from moving at all, since it is what pushes air through the system. In some cases, it may only work on the lowest setting if the blower motor resistor or switch has failed. In these cases, it's best to check the fuse first if there's no air moving at all. Then, check the condition of the resistor and the switch as well as the blower motor itself using a voltmeter. The resistor may also be visibly burned or damaged due to the high heat of electrical resistance, which could cause the blower motor to work only on certain speeds. If the cabin air filter is clogged, it will limit airflow and not allow as much cold air to make it to the vents, forcing your AC system to work a lot harder to keep you cool. The cabin air filter is a maintenance item that should be serviced according to your owner's manual, or as often as needed to keep the air you breathe inside your car free from most debris, pollen, and allergens. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, or if you have more questions, feel free to stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. We'd love to help or recommend a professional technician if needed. We'll see you again soon.